fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. All right, here we go, guys. Saturday, uh, October. I almost said August. I'm talking about fluke with Faisal here, and I think I got fluke in the brain. Target tog, of course. Uh, it's uh, 6.58, almost 7 a.m. Beautiful sunrise in Greenport. Head into the Long Island Sound. We'll see what happens. A little windy. Hopefully not too rough out there. It's coming out of the north, so... A little bit of a concern, but not much. It's not going to really get worse than this. Check back in in a few. All right, here we go, guys. And as you heard in that intro, an October 26, 2019 TOG charter trip with my client Faisal. And this is actually Faisal's uh, fifth trip on my boat this year. Um, he, he definitely won client of the year with the charter business. Great guy and uh, just tremendous fishing we've had we've been very fortunate to to really have some good trips um and what we're going to talk about with this tog video is the strategy around tog fishing and what do i mean by that well you'll see we caught four keeper fish nothing huge but decent keepers as soon as we got to our spot and everything was perfect there was no current we're jigging we're using half ounce jigs and then uh, it was a new moon the the current started moving and the fish stopped getting aggressive and there were a few boats around us including a couple boats we know and everybody was uh, lifting anchor adjusting 10 feet lifting anchor adjusting you know 20 yards that way and well a we don't have an anchor we were using the uh the Minn Kota Tarova 112 pound thrust trolling motor and it was very windy and we did not budge uh, another props out to Minn Kota on a fine product um, but we stayed put and I, I kept mentioning to Faisal that the fish are there and I'm sure the fish were under those boats too and really when you build a bite under you and, and we intentionally uh, put the spot lock away from other boats when we got there we definitely built the bite under us when you do that those fish are not going to leave we just stayed we did not move and what we were waiting for was that moment when the bite turned on, when they stopped just, you know, eating the meat out of the crabs and then, you know, you bring it up and it's washed out and it's half eaten. We wanted to get to that point, like when we got there, where the bite was super aggressive, when even if you didn't catch a fish, when you brought it up, there was no crab left on your hook. There's a clear difference when they're biting versus when they're not biting. And the bite always turns on as long as the fish are there. And we were confident the fish were there, so there was no reason to move. Uh, so we'll get into that with the first, uh, that flurry right when we got there, and we'll have some more commentary along the way. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please hit that subscribe button. Yeah, I'm getting tapped right away. Slack. Holy cow. Swim up with it. How's it feel? Yeah. Oh, you're using your rod. Tighten the drag a drop. Let's see what you got. Looks good. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at the jig, dude. He swallowed that shit. Dude, that's nice. Nice job. How the fuck do we get this out now? This one's in the mouth. Oh, maybe not in the mouth. <laughs> What's going on? Eh, might, worth, might be worth a measure. Right 
at 16. Yeah? Nothing's guaranteed in life, so. like yours maybe a little bigger do I have you oh Crazy on it, it beats all those spots. I mean, some fresh bait on. Yeah, they look, they sucked it out. They're, they're not aggressive right now, and they're not coming back for this after they suck it out. Usually, if they suck it out and they're, they're feeding aggressive. You could have a ring down there, they'll still hit it. Take the show off? Yeah, I'm gonna start doing, I mean, I have been doing that, but definitely now with a non-aggressive bite, I wanna make it easy on them. And back to what we were talking about at the beginning, and you hear me say to Faisal that, you know, they're not coming back and hitting it. And again, the, sometimes it happens in Blackfish. I know what happened here. This spot, we, this is the spot we won the tournament in last week. There were fish there. We caught some big fish last week. We had constant action the whole day, but we didn't have a strong current. Today, we had a little bit of a stronger current. We actually went up to one and a half ounce jigs, which for us is super heavy. Um, and what, for whatever reason, it just killed the aggressiveness of the fish. Um, they were definitely there. They were pecking at the baits. But they just weren't committing. And, um, you know, some of the other boats, you'll see our friend Mike behind us. You might have caught a gl glimpse of that beautiful big 39 Nortec. He's going to come, uh, uh, he's going to change spots a couple times. We intentionally stayed where we were. I did not think moving at this point was going to do anything. That current was going to be in that whole area we were fishing. And I knew we had the fish under us. And it was just a matter of that current slacking off a little and the fish getting aggressive again. Oh, yeah. oh now you got him. Yeah? yeah? All right, good job. As long as one of us got him. Good fish on, Mikey. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Net? Oh, it's a nice fish. Yeah, good one. Oh boy. He, he's not come off the bottom yet. Uh, I don't know yet. Hold on, maybe not. He just lightened up. But, we'll see. Oh, it's a good one. Best one of the day. <laughs> we'll see. Nah, I'll horse him in. You fish. Uh, you know what? Pass me the net. I just don't want him to break my leader. I got him, I got him. He's in. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. It's a nice fish. Yes, it is. Whew. Dude, the bite turned on. <laughs> What? The uh, at least five. Now when you catch your ten, it has to go back. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I'm in your way there.
so you know every time you move like that uh oh uh oh i said if you get your 10 i'm coming up i'm coming up hold on Is that a good fish bro all right let me get the lead just in case keep them away from the engines See if these guys want them. I can't get into them, I'm joking. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Big one of the day. Yeah, he bled him already. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, he bled him. <laughs> it's a nice fish, man. This is a very let's get a weight on this guy. Nice, congrats. Let me take a picture. Hold him. Hold him with the jig just like that. Let me get a quick. up a little bit if you can we have a limit yeah it's it it literally just turned on where the bike got when we got here we had four keepers real quick the bite was aggressive like even even when we weren't catching them, they were taking all our crab. Yeah. Then, right around the time you guys got here, it just became a really loud, aggressive bite. They were pecking, 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 and then they'd stop pecking, and you bring it up, and your crab was still on, but it was chewed up. And there's nothing you could do about that. You gotta wait it out. No, you guys are good. You guys want me to throw a keeper that way if we got one? This might be a keeper. <laughs> You're close enough, Mike. Oh, it's definitely a keeper. Just took all his all the line back. Green crabs. Green. Half ounce jigs. That's going to end this video. And, and let me just make it clear that th this is my theory on tog fishing. I'm sure others will disagree about moving. And look, I get it. If the spot is dead, you definitely move. But, but again, I knew there were fish there. And I, I was confident it was just a matter of of the bite turning on, the current slowing down a little, and that's what wound up happening. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you do like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content, I'd greatly appreciate clicking that subscribe button.